My entire goddamn perspective on life has fucking changed entirely. Holy shit. What the hell? <laughs> I played two Fender Custom Shops today. I played a 1968 Strat 4-bolt with the pig nose headstock. Wow, holy fuck. I literally own a 79 Antigua and a 72 Strat. American Deluxe and American Professional. I also played a 63 Telecaster custom shop. What the fuck? What? I'm... Dude. How? Like, I just don't understand. I... I don't understand how I've never played one before. I have literally fucking played... I have played real vintage guitars. I've played a 1963 Strat. I have played. It's not the same. I think I'm ruined as a, like as a guitar player. I think this experience literally fucked with my brain because all right, here, I, I, honestly, let me tell you. So, not only were both of those guitars incredible, they were fucking fantastic, and they were better than the real deal vintage shit, but I played them through a magnetone amp, and... <laughs> Okay, so right now I'm playing I'm playing my Super O amp and I mean it sounds good Like, that's fine. But... <laughs> it's just... It's not even fucking close, okay? It's so not close... That I'm shocked. Like... Even from, like, the real vintage... I, I know I'm playing an American Deluxe, and this guitar, after playing that guitar, this guitar now, this feels like a Mexican to me. My whole perspective has shifted. <laughs> like, what, what do I even do now? I I really don't know. I don't know how to approach such madness. It's truly fucking lunacy, man. I, I, the difference in level... All right, here's the thing that's crazy that I'll say about guitars. Because I have played... I, all right, for instance, this Pearl drum set is fucking cheap. It's not very good, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I didn't have a lot of space, and everybody has these 
trendy little fucking tiny hipster drum sets nowadays. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to get a tiny little fucking hipster drum set since my drum set was stolen in Nashville. And so I, great. I, it's a solution to a problem that I had, right? And I fucking solved that solution. I put good drums head I put good drum heads on it and I fucking got really good cymbals. I spent the money on the cymbals. Okay. I had a $5,000 Ludwig and this kit sounds just as good as that drum set actually better because I had Peisty symbols which were pretty expensive but for this one I got Zildjian you know I got the K custom fucking shit so I, I don't know I don't know what the deal is with the K custom shit that shit is fire that shit is bananas that shit is fucking it's delectable. It tastes like God's pussy. Oh my God. Okay. That shit, very good. Top notch. A1. Real ass shit. Okay. Now, the Peisty, which those symbols, sorry, I fucking lost track of what I was trying to say. So the Peisty symbols that I had that were literally probably the same motherfucking price i actually paid more for them because i bought them new they sounded shittier than this k custom how the fuck guitars and drums are fucking not the same man i'll tell you that because if they were I don't know, man. I just, I don't know. They're just not the fucking same. I don't understand what the difference is that makes <sighs> and the, the the thing that really blows my mind is like the Supro is a pretty good amp right that's a supposed to uh, dude those magnetones are so expensive for a fucking reason that magnetone amp sounds better than my fucking vintage Princeton reverb all day if not better at least just as good at the very least just as good i didn't know how good they were i didn't know what i was missing out on like i knew custom shops were cool go buy it. go buy it go buy those don't buy them actually well yes buy them and sell them used to me so that i can get a good deal do that fuck it all right.